Hi guys, so this is my Bosch cordless impact drill. It's a GSR 120-LI model. And I've been using this for more or less three years now. And unfortunately, about a few days ago, smoke started coming out whenever I use it. So, and as you can see, here. So apparently, I think the motor's damaged. So in this video, I'm going to try to replace the motor. So, okay, let's get started. So to open up the impact rail, I need to use the uh, spec. Also, uh, just a disclaimer, so I'm not actually a professional technician or electrician, so I'm just a DIYer. And the only reason that I'm doing this is because this tool is already out of warranty. And to have it replaced on a service center, on a, an authorized service center, would cost me half the price of the whole unit. So uh, for me, I don't think that's worth it. So I, I just wanted to try replacing this uh, motor myself, just to be able to save money. Otherwise, I'll just buy a new one. So here is the motor. Okay. And now let's try opening this one. Okay, let's take off the battery. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I've taken out all of these screws. I need to remove this uh, thing here that keeps the two halves together. So okay. So this is what it looks like. Now, carefully, I need to separate the two halves. Okay. So, this is the motor that I need to replace. So, let me just gently pull it out. Now I need to disconnect the two wires. Okay. 
Okay, so it's positive. So I'm gonna put the black one here. Okay, before I solder the wires, I'll just quickly do a test. seems to be working out. Just take this off again. So I'll just use this. Okay, so now I'm done soldering. I just need to put the pieces back in together. I'm just going to do a test run before I put in all this first. Seems to be working, but 
the motor sounds a bit different. I'm not sure why. I'm just going to put everything back now. Okay, uh, overall, uh, I may have damaged the switch here, so uh, earlier I mentioned an uh, unusual sound on the motor. So apparently that was because of the switch. So when it's not, for some, it doesn't move all, all the way up, so you have to find the, I have to push it hard so that the switch would go all the way so once it's all there uh, the the motor sounds just about right and putting it back here so speed one then when moving to speed two uh, and it's not all the way through it makes it sound but if I have to So I guess uh, this is something that I just have to live with. So, but all in all, I think everything is working fine. I, I did a test drill earlier, uh, off off video, of course, and it seems to be working just fine. Okay, so again, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you, and uh, see you in the next one.